All right, so looking at um, the module six sandbox, I'm gonna give you a little bit more complex challenge. Um, as with all the sandbox challenges today, it's um, not for a grade, but for you to practice and learn. Um, but I wanna take that number guessing game that we've been playing around with, and I wanna change it so that we're using one or more functions to do the, the bulk of the work. Um, you wanna think about what are the things that the program does. When you're trying to think about functions and how to develop functions as part of a program, you wanna think about what are the things that the program does? Because the big parts of the program, that it, the things that it does, it's functions basically, are what make the best candidates for developing as custom functions. You want to mostly have the logic of the program the, the program flow and the structures, the loops, the if then else's, the branches. You want that stuff to typically be handled outside of a function, but the, the functionality of the program, you want to be handled typically inside a function. And doing this, because this is a, a relatively simple program in terms of how many lines of code it, it encompasses, our functions are gonna be pretty simple. Um, in fact, um, in a real world scenario, I'm not sure I would use functions in this program because it's actually more lines of code to create the functions than it would be to just write it out. But it's also simple enough that it gives us a good practice with using functions and sort of understanding how functions work as part of a program. So really, there's kind of three parts to this program as far as major functionality goes. The first part of it is getting the computer to create a secret number. The next part is getting the user to provide their guess. And I'd say the third thing is deciding if the guess and the secret number are equal. So those are three functions that we could build out for this program. And you'll see how the code does get simpler in terms of what it does and readability as we do this. So if I'm going to create this guessing game, right, the, the functions are going to be um, uh, getting a secret number from the computer. That won't take any parameters. And we do need to import the random. And I always do the import at the top because it is the best place to do it. Keep them all at the top and then you can see what you're importing for each program. So getting the secret number, it just involves a secret number that we are getting from the computer and returning back to the program. Okay, so it's a return something. So I'm going to create int secret equals random rand int 110 and then we are going to use the return keyword to send that back to the program i'm going to get the user's input in another in another function and i'm going to say int user equals int input give me a number between 1 10 okay so there's that and i'm going to return the int user and now i'm going to take take a stab at a third function that's going to take two parameters. It's going to take the two numbers that I provide it, and it's going to say if they're equal or not. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, judge correct. I'm going to say is correct because judge is too, too much typing. There we go. And I'm going to take 
int user, and I'm going to take int computer. <coughs> and I'm avoiding using the same variable name here as I do here because I don't want people to get confused and think that those are the same thing. They're not, even if I use the same name. But basically, what I want to see is if int c is equal to int u, then I'm going to return true. If they're not, then I want to return false. So now, knowing that I have these defined, these are all return something. So if I want to test them, is correct three, three and four, takes two parameters. It's either going to print two or false, depending on if I give it the same number again, both times. So that works, good. Print get secret, takes no parameters, but just returns a number. So every time I run that, it's gonna return a different integer. Good, good. So now I have my functions defined for this program. They are well-defined black box kind of programs, and now I can create the program. I'm going to set the user's try to zero. I'm going to create the while loop so they get three tries. And then while true, I'm going to get the secret. I'm going to get the user number. Int I'm going to get those two numbers, put them in variables, and then I'm going to say int user, int secret, are they the same? And then I'm going to put that in an if statement. If they're the same, then print you got it, and break out of the loop. If they're not the same, then I print not correct. I add one to the integer for the try that they're on, plus equals one. And then I say, if int try equals three, then print game over and I break the loop. Okay, so now this is my whole game. And the funny thing is I can make this even shorter by putting functions inside of functions because these are return something functions I don't have to put them in a variable. I can just put those functions right in here and it'll execute them from the inside out. I'll do this one, then this one, return those numbers, and then it will feed them to is correct. So I can take this and put those functions right inside there like that. <clears throat> so I have functions inside a function, inside an if statement. And remember, remember PEMDAS, the order of operations? Same thing here. You always start with the innermost parentheses and you go left to right. So you, you do this function, 
This asks the user what they're gonna do, what number they want, and then puts that number here. This one gets the random number from the computer, puts the number here. Then it takes those two numbers and sends them to is correct. Is correct says, are they the same number? And if, it, if they are, then it returns true. If not, it returns false. So the true or false gets fed back to the if statement, which then decides, is it correct or is it not correct? That's the whole flow of the guessing game program, not including the functions that I defined. But you can see now how you could take a, a program that was relatively complicated and squish it down into something very simple.